Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is John Hutt and today I'm going to share with you a free plugins that I actually use. I'm also going to share with you a list of the free version of some of the paid plugins that I use. With that say, let's go right to see the free plugins. Okay, so let's have a look to the free plugins that I actually use. We are gonna start with the effects. The first one is Blue Cut Gain 3, and even though it looks like a simple game plugin, it have a really cool feature, which is that you can group every instance of these plugins on your project. Let me show you how it works. So if I come to a different channel and I open another instance of Blue Cut Audio, I can start to group them together. If I click under the knobs, appears this menu. So now I can choose which group I want to use this instance. Let's put as an example the A group. And now if I increase the gain of one instance, it's going to automatically increase the gain of all of the instance that I have on this group. And another cool feature is that you can put one of these instance on reverse, which means that if I increase the gain of this instance, it's going to automatically decrease the gain of this instance. Let's have a look. Pretty cool, right? The next plugin is Ozone Imager 2, which is a widening effect and I also use it as a face scope. The next plugin is M-Band Pass by Melda Production, which is a basic high-pass filter and low-pass filter. Next one, M-Stereoscope by Melda Production, which is another face scope with some extra features. Next plugin, M-Oscilloscope, which is a really good tool for a sound design. Next one, BX Solo by Brainworks, which I use to check the mid and the sides of my mix and also to open and close the stereo. Next one, Valhalla Supermassive. This is a really good free reverb and delay. You can create a really cool ambience experimenting with this plugin. Next one, Valhalla Freak Echo. Another cool delay for experimental sounds. Next one, my two analyzers, Unspec and Span. Both of them by Boxengo. These free plugins are really helpful to identify problems on your mix. Next one, I have OTT by Expert Records. It's a multiband compressor which can help you to get a super aggressive and massive sound. I recommend that you use this plugin carefully. And now let's have a look to the stock plugins from FL Studio that I actually use. The first one, Peak Controller, which I mainly use the LFO section. Next one, Fruity Limiter, which I sometimes use to control the peaks of some percussive sounds. Next one, Fruity Soft Clipper, which is a really good simple clipper. Next one, Parametric EQ2. I use it sometimes to cut and boost some specific frequencies. Next one, Fruity Balance, which I use to automate volume and pan. It's a simple plugin that helped me to keep my project organized. As for me, it's definitely better to use this plugin rather than the faders and the knobs on the mixer. Next one, Stereo Enhancer, which I use to automate the stereo separation and also the pan and volume. I also use it as a hash effect by offsetting a little bit the right or left signal and open a little bit the stereo separation. Next one, I have Patcher, which is an incredible plugin that lets you use unlimited effects or instrument in a single channel or effect slot. And you can also create your own plugin. Patcher is a really powerful tool. Next one, Wave Candy, which I use as a metering tool. I use the oscilloscope, a spectrum, metering and vectoroscope. It's a really good tool for mixing or for sound design. And last, Fruity Mute 2 is a really simple plugin that I use in all of my projects in combination with a Stream Deck. If you want to know a little bit more about how I use a Stream Deck, I'm going to leave the link of the video on the description below. And now let's have a look to the free instruments that I use. The first one is Labs by Spitfire Audio, which is a really good instrument with plenty of libraries to help you choose the sound that you need. It can also help you to keep focus on the music rather than tweaking a knobs as it has a really simple and clean interface. And next I have Ethereal Earth, Analog Dreams and Hybrid Keys. All of them from Native Instrument Contact Play series. These are a really good sound instrument with a simple and clean interface. You can find a lot of inspiration navigating through the presets of these instruments. And now, as I said on my previous videos, I'm going to share with you a list with the free version of some of the paid plugins that I use. Let's start with the effect. 
let's have a look to the equalizer. For the Fab Filter Pro Q3, we have TDR Nova. For the Puktek EQ, we have Ignite Amps PT EQX. For SSL EQ, we have Analog Obsession SSQ. Now let's have a look to the compressors. For the Fab Filter Pro C2, we have TDR Kotelnikop. For the DBX160, we have Analog Obsession DB Comp. For the CLA2A, we have Variety of Sound Thrill Seeker LA MK2. For CLA76, we have Analog Obsession Fetish. For SSL Compressor, we have Analog Obsession Buster SE. And as a limiter, we have Frontier by D16 Group. Now let's have a look to the preamps. For Tape Melofi, we have Isotope Vinyl. For the Pre-1973, we have Analog Obsession Brit Pre. Now let's have a look to the reverbs and delay. For Valhalla Vintage Verb, we have Boxengo Old School Verb. As a rep plate 140, we have Black Rooster Audio Raw Gold. For the edge delay, we have Baby Audio Baby Comeback. And for a crystallizer and fragments, we have Argot Lunar. Now let's have a look to the modulation. For the Corvus June 6, we have Tal Corvus LX. For the Flanger BL20, we have Blue Cat Flanger. For the Micro Shift, we have a polyverse wider. For a real ADT, we have isotope doubler. And for tremolator, we have Melda Production M Tremolo. Now let's have a look to the saturation. For the J37, we have Chaudhuri DSP tape model. And as a good saturator, we have Klanghelm IFG. And now let's have a look to the free version of some of my best paid instruments. For Serum, we have Vital. For Silent One, Matt Title Helm. And for Hive 2, we have Search XT. For a Diba, we can use Zebra LED. Even though only have one oscillator, you can definitely create some amazing sounds. For a Juno 6, we have Tyrell N6 by Yuhi. For a Minimook, we have Steinberg Model E. For OPXA, we have Disco DSP OBXD. And for orchestra, we have BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover by Spitfire Audio. We also have layers by orchestral tools. Okay, that's all for me. Hope you like and learned something from this video. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is John Hutt.